and that the High King, of course, lived in Tara, as I told you yesterday, Tara, County Mead. So, and uh, these were very much in the least bands of warrior of the feet, and they loved hunting and uh, they loved fishing. But to become a member of this uh, group, you had to be a great athlete, and you had to be a great scholar. For instance, you had to be able to compose and recite 1,100 lines of poetry by heart. You had to be as fleet-footed as a deer, and you had to engage in all sorts of acts of bravery before you'd be admitted to the Fianna. So as I said, they loved hunting and they loved fishing. And one particular day, they were down here in this region in Ross Bay Strand on the beach, when suddenly a mist descended on the water. And when the mist lifted again, they saw coming through the mist this beautiful dashing milk-white charger riding in across the waves with a beautiful girl with long, long flowing hair mounted on the steed. And she rode in across the waves into Ross Bay Strand, and there she met the Fiona, and she told them that her name was Neil. Now, Neil was a lovely Irish girl's name. They spell it N-I-A-M-H, Neil. And she said she was Neil Keen, or Neil of the Golden Hair, and she lived in a wonderful, magical land called Tyr the Nogue. Now that's three words, T-I-R-N-A-N-O-G, Tyr the Nogue, the land of ever young, where nobody ever grows old. And while she was there, she met and fell in love with one of the uh, Fianna, whose name was O'Sheen. Now again, a lovely Irish boy's name, O-I-S-I-N, O'Sheen. And O'Sheen fell hopelessly and helplessly in love with Neil as well. So Neil told him of this uh, wonderful magical land where she lived and she invited him to come with her back to Tirlan Oak. So uh, O'Sheen was happy here with his friends and with this young McCool but he was so much in love and besotted with the Neil that he said farewell to his friends and uh, he mounted the steed and rode off over again across the waves into Tirlan Oak. And when they got to Tirlan Oak all the people came out and welcomed them and there was a lavish wedding ceremony that lasted for over a week and between them, between them, Neil and Oshin were very happy, very much in love. So time passed by and uh, Oshin didn't really think of Ireland or his friends back in Ireland or the Fiona or anything like that until one day he was walking the grounds of the castle and he just noticed a shamrock on the ground and suddenly, straight away, thoughts came flooding back to him and he suddenly had this longing and this urge and this need to come back to Ireland again be the Fiona. Now Neil dissuaded him from thinking or talking about coming back but he kept it up and she eventually relented and she said okay you can go across to Ireland again, visit your friends um, but just visit for a day and while you're in Ireland while you're in Ireland you have to stay on the horse. So he agreed to that and he took the steed and he rode off again across the waves in back in here again to Ross Bay Strand to look for the Fiona but sadly he couldn't find them anywhere. But he wasn't too upset because he knew they hunted elsewhere. So he rode off up, up the country and down the country, east and west, looking everywhere for them. But they were absolutely nowhere to be seen. So he was just about to return back and um, he noticed some men that were working in the fields and they were moving huge stones or these huge boulders. So he went up, up to them and, uh, and asked them if they might have seen the field then. And they said that they hadn't, but that they remembered their forefathers, their grandfathers talking about them. But that was well over 300 years ago. So it was then, of course, he realized that he'd been with me of all this while. Over 300 years had passed in Tiernan Oak, and he was rather sad that he was never going to see his friends again. And just as he was about to return, he decided he would help the men move the boulder. So between them and with one mighty heave, they moved the boulder. But just as they did, the girth broke, the straps of the saddle snapped, and the saddle slipped from the horse, fell to the ground. And of course, the minute O'Sheen touched the land of Ireland again, he changed back into an old man with a long grey beard, and never was seen to go back to his beloved uh, Neil in Tierland Oak. So that was um, one of the little uh, folk tales, one of the many tales that have sort of stood the test of time, the story of O'Sheen and Neil in Tier the Oak. What the hell is that? Tier the Oak, the land of ever young. Now, changing the subject again, and how many of you remember a movie made many, many years ago called Ryan's Daughter? 
Robert Bitchum and Sarah Miles. Mm -hmm. Wonderful scenery in, in, in the... In the